The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, this is a chart of Bitcoin, an hourly chart. I wanted to show you at the top here when they gave approval. You notice it made the ABCD pattern up here at the top. That, and then everybody came in. They were buying their Lamborghinis and Ferraris, and the market immediately dropped 20%. You see how it did it in ABCD format, just absolutely perfect symmetry. It, where we have so far as we've rallied up here to the 382, we're up about uh, seven, eight hundred points in Bitcoin. The reason that I'm on the show today is I've uh, just so, this is only for 10 minutes, but I wanted to express some uh, information that I got from John Jameson. John has been bullish to crypto since uh, oh dear, 2012. I've never bought a crypto. Uh, he's given me some great ideas, but I, I don't understand them, so I never bought them. Some of my friends did and did really well. But he is totally out of the market now for a reasoning called the fact that when this was approved, the only way they could get it approved is they had it put it through uh, for, for a settlement in um, U.S. dollars. And what happened was Coinbase, which is the chart I posted earlier, has 13 excuse me 11 of the 13 etfs are going through coinbase now folks <laughs> this is what scares john because this sets up a thing called single point of failure this was a thing that was in the financial times of london over the weekend john had been talking to me about several times but that phraseology of single point of failure means that all the ducks are in the water are in the hen house and <laughs> the problem is you've got all these wolves around the world hacking to get into that and believe me, folks, uh, we, we know these are all numbers and these are all computers. You know, they're not, they're not making cars. They're not making widgets. They're, they're dealing with zeros and ones. And John thinks the risk here of being long any of these cryptos is quite substantial. So he is standing aside and waiting to see what happens. But uh, I want to give you my two cents worth on that because it's important. Let's talk about the market a little bit. As you know, we went short the Dow right near the high on Friday. That's where your stop is, just one tick above that high. Right now, it's got 100 and some points in it, which really is nothing. But there's a couple other patterns that we posted last night that look very, very interesting. And I wanted to bring those up to you right here. This is the gasoline contract. And you'll notice here that it made a perfect 382 retracement to the exact tick right there. And it dropped uh, quite a bit already. The next one we wanted to take a look at We'll get this one up here to take a quick look at it right here. Oh, that's a, that's a Coinbase again. That snuck in on me. Hold on. Uh, let's get here's the second one right here. This one right here. Is, is that, oh, dear. All right. Let's get back to where we're supposed to be. Okay. Here's the heating oil. Went it to the exact tick. It hit it on Friday. Now, it didn't go above it. Now, those of you that get the letter, I said if we opened higher than $78 per barrel, I said you have to wait for the market to back off and sell the first 382 retracement on the crude oil. That's what our game plan was. I'm going to bring it up here and show you. It opened higher. You see where it opened at 79.31. There was your first 382 retracement right here. It hit it one, two, three times, 78.52, and immediately dropped a dollar and a <coughs> dollar and a half uh, per barrel. So. This is telling now you 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 locked in at least five hundred dollar profit on this, but that's what we're watching here as we're watching these things here unfold because you know these are really active markets and you want to be prepared you know when they pop up as near as they can. Now we've got a couple others that we need to watch because you, those of you remember we were trying to buy the soybean meal, the July soybean meal, and that we bought that today. Down there at uh, 50, uh, 52, it got all the way up to almost 61, and now it's trading at 56. So your stop has to be right below here. You're only risking $100 now. We bought it there at 352.10. Right there is where we bought it. Had the big move this morning. I had nothing I can do about that because it's in the, in the time when uh, it ran all the way up to the 50% retracement of that whole move down. 
And uh, soybean, if you want, if you bought the uh, soybeans themselves, that was at uh, twelve fifteen. That still has a, a small profit in it, but have your stop working at twelve oh nine. The reason why the market is getting the proverbial, you know, kicked out of it right now is if you'll take a look at this is the soybean oil chart. Okay, now look look what's happened. We had the A B C D down, and look where we are now. We've we've now completed another one. Here's the second. Let's just get this up here so we can see it. There's your ABCD move down to there. That measures to uh, 4559. We're trading at 4542. Plus, we have the other one that is right here. There's your ABCD leg right here. And that takes you down just a little bit lower here. To, that's quite a bit lower, 4431. But here's the area. If we, the reason why we bought the meal is because it was the stronger of the three. That's why. I pointed that out in the video that that was the one to buy so far that's been the right thing to do you know once in a while even the blind hog picks up an acorn that's how he feeds himself okay now that's a main one i wanted to show you when you're looking at the heating oil here look what happened to heating oil just a few minutes ago there is your high friday there's friday's high there's sunday's high look at this from the high on friday we just made a 382 retracement and how did we do it you have to love this folks I see you, Johnny, over there raising your hand. Hold on just a minute. There's your 382 right there. And if you sold that, you got your stop at break even, and you want to see how that one holds out, okay? All right. Now, let me see. We only got about four or five minutes left to go in this. I want to cover the gold market here because we had a little bit of action in the gold last night. There's where we are. We thought it was going to get up here to the ABCD pattern here. At 32, we went a little bit higher, and then it had a – a pretty big break to the downside. Remember, when you're trading gold, you got to risk a thousand bucks. When you're trading crude oil, you got to risk about a dollar a barrel because they're that crazy. There's your 61% retracement on the way down, and this makes this. Uh, I just saw this, believe it or not. Uh, of course, I'm not following it very closely because I'm uh, taking care of myself with a lot of liquids and stuff. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> when we're looking at this one right here, you'll see from the high down to the low, we went right up to almost the exact 618 retracement. We missed it by two pips, uh, 10 cents in the 20 cents in the in the gold. Now it's backed off a little bit. This is what I'm assuming is happening. We're getting ready to move down because our goal here in the gold is to come up. And I believe it comes in at 1949. There it is, like here we get there. It is. Excuse me, 1981. There's what we're looking at right here, the big A B C D right there on this one. And then of course we have this monster one right behind it, and that also takes us right down to this level here. So somewhere between uh, 1980. See, the old lows here is 1986. They're going to take that out. I can almost. Uh, well, you can't bet on it, but you would assume that that's what's going to happen. So these are the areas where we want to be looking to be a buyer here of gold. And we've got the Fed coming in tomorrow, and that'll be an interesting one to uh, you know pay close attention to. So let's keep that in mind. Now, tomorrow our guest was going to be uh, Grace Morris, and I will be back tomorrow, God willing, and she usually is. So thanks you for putting up with me, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Steve Rhodes 